You made it to the next round. You are amazing. So we're gonna start on the floor. This entire round will be on the floor. So yes, it's super relaxing, but effective. Okay, so we're gonna come down onto our backs. If you need to support your low back, you can grab a towel to make, to make everything a little bit easier here. Okay, so we're gonna start off in a stationary bridge. Squeeze your butt the entire time. Don't just let it hang there. Squeeze it up and in with a slow chest press. Now I have five pounds because this is a big muscle, but you can start with two pounds. Here we go. Squeeze your butt, chest press. And again, if you've done this workout several times and you feel that the five pounds just isn't challenging enough for you, then you can always grab eight pounds, 10 pounds, but go slow. Try not to do it if you're feeling a lot of pain. Squeeze your butt, squeeze. Bonus, I love these compound exercises because we get more muscles worked in the same amount of time. Plus it amps the heart rate. I just love that one so much. Don't wanna stop, yes. That one was amazing. Stretch out your chest. Okay, for the second part, you're gonna come back down onto your back. And if you need to, again, you can grab the towel or you can help support your low back with your hands. Bring your knees up to the center of your core. I can't talk today. Take your knees out about 12 inches apart and you're gonna do little drops, knee drops, with a little lift at the top. That lift is where the work is, okay? So you see why you need a towel maybe? So you don't feel it in your spine. If you've done this workout a lot, you're feeling good, you can straighten the legs. But sometimes that puts a lot of strain on your spine. Yes. Okay, just stretch it out. I know you want to stay here. I know, I know, I know, but the stretch is coming soon. Just enjoy these 30 seconds. Great job. Okay, so for the next set, we're gonna work the outer thighs. We're gonna do one side at a time. I have my two pound set of weights. You can grab heavier or no weights depending on how you're feeling. I'm gonna come down onto my elbow, but you can always rest your head on your arm if you have pain in your forearm. Let me move these weights here. Okay, so the key here is to stack your hips and take either a straight bottom leg or a bent bottom leg. And then your top leg, you're gonna point your toe at the corner of your mat and just do little lifts and then halfway down. Here we go. We wanna make it count. So we're gonna go nice and slow. With the outer thigh, it's easy to just kinda of like flop it around, but you won't be doing any good for you. You'll just be causing excess pain. So just go nice and slow. Tap your toe to the floor if you want, or you can just do halfway. With this weight, I definitely feel it faster. Yes? So you do not need a weight by any means. Oh my goodness, woo, lift it up. Okay, you earned that stretch, for sure. Okay, if you can, you can cross that leg over the bottom bent leg and stretch it out. Oh, so good, so, so good. Definitely challenging, right? But it also feels good. So that's the beauty of moderate intensity exercise. Whoops, I'm talking too much. Ah, okay. Hopefully you guys are on the other side because it doesn't strain you like high intensity training does. It increases your energy, not decreases it. So 
That's why I love it. I mean, who doesn't want more energy for the rest of their day to get more things done? I know I do. We need it. We have a lot to do. Oh, I'm slacking off. Okay, I'm gonna kick it higher here. But I'm not having pain in my legs. So if you're having pain, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I think on that side, I cheated a little bit. Yeah, got started late. But it was so good. 40 seconds, that's all you need to feel the burn, for sure. Stretch it out. Okay, so for the next set, we're gonna work the arms. Now, for this one, I'm gonna use my five pounds, but that's because I don't have a lot of pain. But um, I would start off with your two pounds or water bottles for this one. Here we go. You're gonna take your arms out halfway and then pull them back with your elbows to meet each other. Squeeze your abs, pull them in, sit up tall. Don't forget posture here and smile. You're almost done with this round. Again, you don't have to do full extensions here because this can put some strain on your neck. Only do this if you don't have the pain. You can do little half pushes here. Just like we did with those biceps, little half pushes. And isolate the upper back. Squeeze those lats together. Ah, yes. Very, very good. I think I said I was gonna grab my five pounds. Yes, I did. See? So forgetful. So, so, so. Do people say that to you guys a lot? People that don't have the memory issues? Yeah, that happens to me a lot too. They're like, what's wrong with you? Why don't you remember anything? Yeah, it's the worst. Okay, I'm gonna grab my five pound set of weights and I'm just gonna do little hinge curls, okay? For the biceps. Again, start with the two pounds. Try not to like flop the weights because that'll just put strain on your neck. Go nice and slow, keep those forearms parallel to the floor. If you drop the arm by the legs, you're just not gonna feel it as much. Lift those weights, 90 degree angle to your upper arm. Love it, love it. Stretch out those biceps. So good. I mean, we're working everything, right? There is not a muscle missed. I don't think so. We worked everything. This is why it's a total body shape up workout. It's so, so good. Okay, so for our last and final set of this round, we're gonna come on all fours again. So if you need to, you can roll the mat up to cushion your knees. And if you're having wrist issues, um, you can grab your weights to support your wrist. I'm gonna grab one five pound dumbbell, put it behind my leg. But again, you do not need any dumbbells for this as long as you squeeze the booty and you squeeze the back of the leg. So just gonna do little lifts, squeezing that weight and then tap the knee down. Make it count. Do the extra little lift at the top here to squeeze the back of your legs and your booty. You can still go halfway, but go halfway from the center and then up. Instead of going halfway from the floor to the center. You guys know what I mean? Halfway and then all the way to the top. If you have that weight, be careful it doesn't slide out from the back of your leg. I've had that happen so much. Ah! Okay, felt the burn. Felt the burn. Child's pose. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, catch your breath. <sighs> and you only have one more side to go. Yes, I'm so excited. Although it's been really fun, I have to admit. I've enjoyed this workout. It's been really, really fun. Definitely a go-to for pain days and fatigue days. This is great for people dealing with fatigue too, don't forget. Fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue are, are very closely linked 
adrenal fatigue, all the autoimmune diseases, illnesses, they're all linked. So these workouts are great for so many different ailments. Just go slow, do what feels natural. Anything that feels awkward or painful probably isn't good for your body at this time. It might be challenging, that's different, but if it's painful, that's not good. We did it, yes, we did it. Oh man, that was amazing. I loved every second of that one. How about you guys? Yes. Woo, I could stay here forever. So, so, so good, enjoy. Oh, you made it to the stretch and cool down. Please don't turn the video off at this point. You need to do this to lengthen all those muscles out and prevent any unnecessary pain or fatigue, okay? So this is your reward. This is the best part. So we're gonna start just lengthening and stretching out everything we work today, which is basically everything. So put one hand on the floor, just gonna reach up and over, reaching as high as you can. Relax your head and neck, don't strain it, just relax. You can look down at the floor if you need to. And then bring it up, let's switch sides. How do you feel? Feel energized? Feel good? Let me know, let me know. I love your feedback and I love your testimonials because it helps me to keep going on my bad days. It helps me to keep making these videos, so please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna to turn to the side just to show you the next stretch. So I'm gonna straighten my legs here. If this is too difficult for you to straighten your legs, you can bend your legs and cross them. I'm gonna straighten them. And I'm just gonna to reach towards my ankles, the tops of my toes, my feet, whatever I can do today. You guys do what you can do and try to lengthen out the back of the legs here. So if your legs are crossed, then you're just gonna reach forward, okay? You are gonna get a different stretch for your glutes as opposed to your hamstrings, but we worked our glutes, so that's a great stretch anyway. So, come out here, hold, hold, hold. Love this one. Relax your head and neck. Amazing. Amazing work. Come on up. Ooh, okay. Reach those arms forward, make your back into a C curve. Push it to one side, open up your lats. Push it to the other side. Center, C curve. Up overhead and down. Clasp both hands behind you, open up your chest. And down. Okay, so we're gonna roll down onto our backs. This is the best stretch. Yes, it is. Again, you can cushion your low back with a towel if you need to. Okay, so tuck your hips up and under so your back's supported. And you're just gonna bring one knee into your chest. Now we're stretching out the hamstrings even more. So if you didn't get that with the seated stretch, then this will help. Very good, let's switch sides. I feel this in my hips. Do you guys feel that here? Okay, so we're gonna stretch those hips out after. Okay, try to straighten that leg if you can. Take your bent knee and cross it over your body, keeping both shoulders on the ground. You don't have to go all the way over if you're feeling a lot of pain or you're not so flexible. But if you can, try to work yourself up to tapping that knee to the floor, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Let everything just settle. Yes. Okay, slowly come out of that stretch. Straighten that leg now, bend your opposing leg, and we're gonna try to switch sides all the way over. I'm lying on my microphone here, so hopefully it doesn't turn off. 